Welcome back to our first episode of Let's Talk Kentucky. I'm your host, Sherelle Roberts, along with the Let's Talk team, Susan Mills, Kim Dixon, and Lisa High. And we are joined by our very first guest, the Lieutenant Governor of the Commonwealth of Kentucky, Jacqueline Coleman. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, Lieutenant Lieutenant Governor. Governor. welcome, welcome. Welcome, Lieutenant Governor Coleman. We are just so glad to have you here. I cannot tell you all how excited I am to be here with you on a female-produced show, female-hosted show, talking about things that matter in Kentucky. Yes. This, th this is uh, long overdue, and I'm so glad that you all are filling this void. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We, are, Thank you. we are so glad to have you yes. here. And we love that you brought the brightness, too. This show is all yes. about bright colors, bright personalities, and so we are glad to have you here. You. And we want to get right into it. So we know that you are a huge advocate for universal pre-K because you are an educator. Talk to us a little yes. bit about that. Yes, so first I like to tell people that I was a high school teacher because I was scared of the little ones because <laughs> <laughs> they can smell fear and you all know that. Yes, so I, true. I taught high that's school. True. But also that means that I'm on the back end of the education system so I know how critically important the first few years are to a child's development. Mm -hmm. And so when we look at, um, for example, do you all know how we forecast prison populations? Yes, mm -hmm. by third, third grade. grade literacy rates. Mm -hmm. Wow, right? I didn't know that. I didn't know so that when we talk about getting our kids into um, universal pre-K, we want it for every four-year-old in Kentucky. Good. Yes. And the challenge we're facing now is two-thirds of our kids, when they walk through the door on the first day of kindergarten, are ill-prepared. Two-thirds. Mm -hmm. And so we have now the entire education system is spent catching them up rather than moving them forward. So having universal pre-K for every four-year-old in Kentucky, number one, would change the trajectory of a generation mm -hmm. of kids' lives, but also it would help women who want to be back in the workforce to be able to re-enter the workforce uh, and, and continue to work because they wouldn't have to worry mm -hmm. because they would know their children were in a universal pre-K mm -hmm. class taken care of mm. um, and, and learning and, wow. and playing and collaborating and moving um, their education forward from that day on. That's a That's really, amazing. really good point that yeah. people are really yeah. Lisa, I know you have a question. Yeah, for so your administration, this is switching gears, your administration has been through a lot, obviously, mm -hmm. from the natural disasters that we've had here in our own state, not to mention a global pandemic, everything in between. Let's talk about what you would say is your most awe-inspiring moment during your years as Lieutenant Governor. Oh, wow. There, there's... There's a lot. Um, you know, you, let's go back. The governor and I were inaugurated in December of 2019. Mm -hmm. I had a baby in February. <laughs> the pandemic started in March. Wow. Okay, so wow. that's how that, <laughs> that's how that administration started. Right? Yeah. Uh, and then on top of that, we're, you know, we're working through a global pandemic where none of us really know the answers at first. And mm -hmm. there's, there's, not a, there's not a vaccine or... Uh, a cure mm -hmm. um, yet and so a lot of it was us having to trust the medical professionals right and as as we uh, moved out of that we saw the worst tornadoes in West Kentucky that Kentucky has ever seen in a generation and then of course the catastrophic flooding in the east but I will tell you I think the the most awe-inspiring thing that I've seen through all of those challenges is in the aftermath Kentucky showed who we really are yeah. Yeah. yeah, because we had neighbors helping neighbors. We had people showing up and I, you all, I literally saw someone get out of their truck and walk up to a, a homeowner and shake their hand and introduce themselves and say, how can I help? Yeah. I watched that That's happen. Great. That's great. And so when we show up for each other and we show the nation and the world the best of us and that we can be kind and compassionate and, and be there for each other in our darkest hour, it, every single time it took my breath away. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you for sharing. You know what, the one thing that we forgot is tissues. <laughs> during, <laughs> during our pre-shows, there were like tears and we forgot to bring tissues to, I know we forgot something today. <laughs> next show. Thank you for yeah. sharing, next yeah. show we will. Yeah. But thank you for sharing that because I, I was just sitting here like, oh Lord, we didn't bring the tissue. Yeah. Um, Susan, uh, do you have a question? Yeah, I do. Um, so as a, as a mom, I mean, like Lisa said, you've gone through so much already. Um, you have a young child now. How do you find the time, or how do you do, you balance the professional time as a mm. lieutenant governor and your personal time, being a wife and mother? How do you do that? 
I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you just do it. Just, I mean, really, you just try to put one foot in front of the other. But, but in this role, I do try to be very cognizant of the women who came before me, right? Mm -hmm. So we have Crit Lou Allen. We have mm -hmm. la yeah. uh, the last lieutenant governor was Janine Hampton. Crit Lou Allen, um, uh, of course, Martha Lane Collins, yes. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And those women blazed the trail so that I could be in this seat. And the women who have um, have served in Kentucky help to help to make that trail a little bit wider so that someone like me could become lieutenant governor someone like me could have a baby while I'm in office and continue to serve it's just changed the landscape mm -hmm. but I also look behind me and I think about the job that we have as women who are leaders in our community to also bring those young women along with us mm -hmm. right yes mm -hmm. and so really um, and of course I have I have a, a 25 year old adopted daughter at home and I have a three-year-old Evelyn at home and so uh, you know I see them every single day and I try to think about this is what I like to say I try to think about um, being the woman that I needed when I was a little girl yeah that's incredible and I think that you know if that guides you then every day you put one foot in front of the other and you you never feel like you get it right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but but you always try to be better the next day than you were today and I think oh, that's yeah. really well important said. thank you so thank much you. Lieutenant yes. Governor well thank you Lieutenant Governor for joining us and for these insightful words stick around with us coming up after the break everybody we're going to talk about some crazy things particularly should golf carts be driving on Lexington's busy streets and roadways <laughs> We'll talk about this after the break in something we like to call What's Trending.